Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. If you like the look of stock ice cream sandwich, but you want to have some control over it, there are a lot of third-party launchers out there that are based off of ice cream sandwich that do an awesome job at giving you a ton of customizability. In this video, this episode of Launcher Wars, we're going to talk about Apex Launcher, which might be my new favorite launcher. Let's get to it. So you might remember in a previous video, we talked about how the HTC One X has a new version of Sense, Sense 4.0, which is lighter than before, but still a little bit too heavy, especially on the home screen. For example, folders sputter when you open them. They don't open as smoothly as stock ice cream sandwich. So one of the first things that I did is I rooted the uh, HTC One X and I put a third party ROM on it, which came with Apex Launcher. Uh, and we're going to talk about it now. Now, Apex Launcher looks like Ice Cream Sandwich because it's based off of Ice Cream Sandwich, but it gives you a lot more control over your experience than what you get with stock. Now, of course, this is the HTC One X, and the One X has folders through Sense, but these are Ice Cream Sandwich style folders. So folders open very, very quickly. Not only that, but you can customize the look and the feel. So let me show you how. So I'm gonna go into Apex Settings here, which is just the settings for the launcher. I'm gonna go into Folder Settings. This is super cool. Uh, so you can go to Grid Preview and specify how the little icons should appear within each folder. So you can have sort of the iOS look, you can have a grid look, you can have it look like stock ice cream sandwich, or you can go with a fan. Let's see how it looks with the iOS look. And we're gonna go back to the home screen, has to refresh, and as you can see, even smaller previews of the icons that are within the folder. Let's go back to the Apex settings and we're gonna change some more folder settings before we jump into the other features. You can change the folder background, which is super cool. So we can have uh, the ring, which is right out of Ice Cream Sandwich. You can have it be a square or have no folder background. So we're gonna actually go uh, to the ring and kind of give it the Ice Cream Sandwich look and feel. But what you'll notice is that you still get the little tiny iOS style icons. That looks a little weird. My favorite is just keeping it on uh, the folder background of iOS because it kind of looks cool. And folder preview of the grid and then boom, you get a nice preview of what's inside the folder without seeing icons that are microscopic. Another great thing about Apex Launcher is that it lets you resize every widget. So when you tap and hold on any widget, you get a resize menu. And this is cool because this is the default stock ice cream sandwich Google search bar. But now you can resize it. So if you don't need it to take up such a large space, you can move it around. And of course, ice cream sandwich stock, it doesn't let you move the Google search bar, but now you can have it wherever you want. And of course, you can resize it. Now the tap and hold function does some cool stuff on other apps. So for example, if we go into, uh, let's go over here and go to ROM manager. If we tap and hold, we can edit it. So let's do that. And we can change the name of the item. We can even change the icon, which is really cool. Uh, we can also, um, look at app info, we can share the app or we can remove it completely. So a lot of extra functionality added there. Now let's talk about the app launcher. In Sense 4.0, it's this side scrolling paginated clunky thing. Here in Apex Launcher, I get back the ice cream sandwich look and feel. I can scroll to the right to these different columns. And now I have a vertically scrolling list, super fast, super fluid. Look how quickly it opens. Boom, it opens instantly. And now I've got a much better way to add widgets to my home screen. Uh, in Sense 4.0, there's this clunky thing that just has so many visual effects, it's overwhelming. But now I get back a little preview of all my widgets and I can tap and hold anything I want and bring it to the home screen and drop it there and customize it to my heart's content. Uh, also in Apex Launcher, you can customize the number of screens you have. You get the leap like feature. Actually, let's go back into Apex settings and really quick talk about the drawer. Uh, since we just showed the drawer, look at the settings you get here. Uh, so you can choose which apps are hidden, which is terrific if there are some apps that you just don't want to see all the time in the widget tray. Um, you can sort the uh, change the app sorting there. We can change the style of the drawer. I've got it vertical and continuous, so you get that nice smooth scrolling list. Uh, you have a drawer animation. I don't like animations ever, so of course I turned it off there so it's as fast as possible. And there's just so many options that you can choose from uh, for your app drawer. Let's go back and look at the other things you can do. Dock settings. So you can change the number of dock icons. In Ice Cream Sandwich, you get five. In Apex, launcher, you can go up to seven, which is cool if you like to have a lot of icons on the bottom. Of course, they'll get smushed together 
which is fine because if you want to add more icons, they need to get a little bit closer together in order to achieve that effect. And the list goes on and on what you can do with Apex Launcher. Uh, you can back up your settings so that if you install it to a new device, you can have it look just like it did previously. And there are some options here in behavior settings. Uh, talking about what certain swipes do, you can have a swipe up show your notifications. That's super cool. So now if we're on the home screen, we do a swipe up, boom, there's the notification tray. Instead of having to sort of reach your thumb all the way to the top here, you can just, boom, swipe up and there's your notification tray. So Apex Launcher, the best part about it is that it is free and it's available in the Play Store. So just go to search for Apex. Now there are other launchers that give the look and feel of ice cream sandwich, such as Nova Launcher. Um, and we're gonna talk about those in future Launcher Wars, but we wanna talk about Apex Launcher because it's just a great option for people that want that look and feel of ice cream sandwich. The, the way the folders open up instantly uh, with the beautiful animation that doesn't take up too much time, it's a really great uh, idea to have. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you wanna suggest a launcher for a future episode of Launcher Wars, please leave us a comment. That's it for now.